Hello ladies and gentlemen, Scare Tool here and welcome back to another Minecraft modification tutorial. This tutorial here will be showing you guys how to modify our Oshkosh MMRS heavy recovery vehicle into a deployed state, having the crane extended and also having our stabilizers also extended for this build. This tutorial will require you to watch the uh, original tutorial for the Oshkosh MMRS and you will need that base model to go ahead and modify into the version you can see in front of us. So please take the time now to go ahead and refer back to that tutorial. There will be a link in the video description for you all to um, click on if you need to get a little bit of easier access to it. But again, you will need that build and you will need to build it fully in that tutorial to go ahead and comply with this one. So with that, uh, go ahead and take the time now to go ahead and move over to that video. And I'll see you guys here in a sec to go ahead and move into this uh, build. And welcome back guys to the modification tutorial here for the Oshkosh MMRS heavy recovery vehicle in its deployed state. Uh, I'm going to go over the vehicle real quick. I'm not going to go into detail about what this vehicle is considering you just watched the previous tutorial. But what this vehicle basically is here is a recovery vehicle that was designed by Oshkosh and was uh, basically just a private venture. Um, as far as I know, there really hasn't been any, uh, any basically countries or any purchases of this vehicle um and again was just kind of an oshkosh uh project that they were working on themselves personally uh but you can see here we have the vehicle in a kind of deployed state which i think is probably the better looking version of it compared to the tow version um but we have the legs extended on both sides here which we will be covering and also the legs on the back here which also extend outwards we then have the uh, crane system here which is uh extended and can be used in uh recovery operations can be holding a vehicle or um, you know, trying to flip a vehicle over or something. So you can make some really cool scenes with this, but I just think this deployed model looks really nice and uh, just has a lot of really good detail and a lot of good little intricate bits and pieces to it. Uh, with that though, that's going to pretty much wrap up uh, everything I want to cover for taking a little overview at it. And with that, let's go ahead and just move directly right into the tutorial. All right, guys, so going ahead and moving into uh, the build. Uh, so the first thing we're going to go ahead and start off with modifying is we're going to be putting our uh, legs extended outwards. So the first thing we want to do is we want to go ahead and go to this section here of the build. We're going to go delete this item frame, the sign, and we're going to delete this sandstone wall and then these two virtual blocks like that. So you should have the space broken out like so. We're going to go then place down an end rod coming off this block here and then a iron trap door coming off of it and you want this iron trap door in the lower portion so like this and then another iron trap door beneath that. We're also going to place down a birchwood slab on top of this strip birchwood block. Coming off the strip birchwood block, we're going to place down an air strip birchwood block out to the side there. Then a sandstone slab, a sandstone top slab underneath that, and then a near strip birchwood block. We're going to go then place down a sandstone wall coming down from the block. And in the ground, we're going to place down a piston, like so. And then out to the side here, we're going to place down a birchwood trap door coming off that sandstone wall like that for our leg. We're going to go up from this block here, place down a smooth sandstone stair. Then up from that, we're going to place down a skeleton skull. So, like so. And then we're going to take another end rod and place it down, coming off the skeleton skull, like that, for these legs, this leg here. After that, our rear leg is going to be basically a little bit more, um, you know, crazy in what we're doing here. Uh, but basically what we're going to be doing is we're going to go ahead and first start off by deleting these sandstone stairs, or sorry, those birchwood stairs, the sandstone wall, the sandstone wall and sign, and this birchwood stair as well. Now what we're going to do here is we're going to go off of these anvils. We're going to delete these signs and basically build off of them like that to the side. We're going to go ahead and start off by going ahead and go into our bottom one. We're going to place down a stripped birchwood block like so. We then want to go ahead and go uh, off that stripped birchwood block with a skeleton skull to both sides like that and we then want to place down a end rod going out from this uh, skeleton skull here on the side facing toward the front we're going to go then drop down from that with a birchwood stair so it's going to drop down birchwood stair and then a birchwood sign on both sides of that stair we also want to go ahead and grab birchwood fence gates and on top of this stair here we're going to place down a fence gate and open it up toward that strip birchwood block as well as we're going to place down a fence gate on top of this sand or this this uh, birchwood block here like that, and we're going to go ahead and then place down a birchwood sign to both sides of the fence gate. So like so. Then after we have that done, we're going to go ahead and then also place down a uh, stripped birchwood block on top of this space here. And this fence gate, we're actually going to go ahead and delete, and we're actually going to replace with an end rod. The fence gate is going to come off this stair here toward the front. So we're going to go ahead and do, just move it down to the side there like so. 
Then going down from the stair here, we're going to place down another upside down stair like that. A sandstone wall on the bottom. And we're going to go then grab ourselves a piston. We're going to place down a piston here. And then coming off the sandstone wall, we're just going to place down a virtual trap door. And that right there will basically make your uh, rear stabilizer. And you're just going to also uh, finish this off with a sandstone wall on top of this block. The same design uh, for both these supports will be transferred over to the air side. I'm not going to show that in uh, on camera just because it's the same thing. You're just going to do the same thing, just flip it over to the air side. So I'm going to go ahead and do that real quick off camera and come back and show you guys the finished product for our supports. And just like that, we have basically both sides um, kind of transferred over and finished. Now, a few things I do want to go ahead and add just to tidy this whole thing up is going to be the addition of a skeleton skull on both sides of this uh, birchwood fence gate right here. And we also want to go ahead and grab some birchwood trap doors and we're just going to place them down on top of these two polished black stone top slabs like so. So just a few little quality of life changes like that. Anyways, at this point in time, we're going to go ahead and now basically start to do our crane. Now to do our crane here, we're going to go ahead and begin with by going ahead and deleting this stone brick stair, this chain, and we want to go ahead and delete the entire boom here of the crane. So we're just going to go ahead and delete this entirely. All the way to the back of the vehicle. And we'll leave those sandstone walls there alone. Those will stay. And we're going to delete this all the way back to this point here. Now, once we get to this area, we got to kind of be a little bit more careful what we're deleting. Uh, we're going to delete the skeleton skull here. And this top slab. And the skeleton skull here. We're going to delete these two birchwood stairs. And we also want to delete these stairs in this spot here. Those stairs will be replaced with a sandstone wall. And we're going to go then just delete this section here for the crane. So just get rid of it entirely. And we're going to basically start from scratch here. So basically this is what we should have kind of broken out. And we have this kind of circular space that we're going to go ahead and basically build off of. Now one thing I do want to cover is up here in the front. We're going to go ahead and place down a uh, birchwood trap door in between those, um, those uh, slabs there. Or those walls like so. So at this point in time we're going to go ahead and start working on our crane here. Now our crane is going to begin with by taking our smooth sandstone. We're going to place down a row of three across these uh, blocks here. We then want to grab our birchwood trap, birchwood stairs and place down a row three and then a birchwood corner stair to both sides. One thing I should also mention is that you could have this crane angled whatever direction you guys want. If you do want this coming out to the right side, you can do that. If you want it to the left side, you can do that. Just know that this back section of the crane is going to be this section here. So this back portion. And again, you can rotate having this way and build the crane out that way. Whichever way kind of works, but for the most part, uh, to get all the details and to maximize the uh, look here, we're going to have it facing to the back. Anyways though, uh, to go ahead and continue on, we're going to go ahead and place down a, uh, instead of a corner stair there, a birch wood. It's actually going to be a birch wood, or a smooth sandstone top slab. So we grab a slab here, and we're going to place down that top slab to both sides. We then want to go ahead and go forward with that, with a birch wood trap door on both sides of that row of three. And then a smooth sandstone block here in the center. Another smooth sandstone upside down stair to both sides. And then we're going to place down an inner sandstone wall in the center with a skeleton skull to both sides of that wall. After that, we're going to go off the skeleton skulls with a sandstone wall on both sides like that. And then we're going to go up again from those sandstone walls going up at an angle like that going toward the back. We then want to go ahead and continue to focus on our crane area by expanding by placing down a birchwood trap door here. We're going to go and then place down a birchwood fence gate to both sides of that trap door and open it toward the front. And we then want to take our stripped birchwood logs and we're going to place them down one right here and one right here come off those fence gates. In the space in between them we're going to go ahead and place down a sandstone wall like so and then to the corners here we're going to place down a lantern like this to both sides and then lastly a skeleton skull on both sides of those blocks like that. Now we then want to take our uh, sandstone full blocks we're going to place down a sandstone full block here and we're going to go and grab iron bars and we're going to place down um, a row of iron bars go on, or an iron bar on both sides like that. We're going to go then place down there a smooth sandstone block going back. This is going to have a birchwood trap door on both sides of it. And then after that, we're going to then place down a sandstone slab on top of that block right there. Now, we then want to go ahead and grab a birchwood button. We're going to place down a birchwood button on top of this block here. And then we also want to place down a skeleton skull on top of those two uh, smooth sandstone blocks. Or, I should say, birchwood um, logs. And then just a chain coming off the base there of the skeleton skulls. After this, we're going to go ahead and go up, or we're going to go ahead and go off this block with a sandstone top slab. We're going to go ahead and then place down two sandstone full blocks going off this slab. 
on the sides of those full blocks. We're going to place down birchwood trapdoors. Slide down on both sides there. Then we want to go ahead and place down a sandstone slab here. On top of this block. We're going to go then go forward with a smooth sandstone block. After that, uh, we want to go and place down a sandstone top slab underneath this block like so. We're going to place down a birchwood trapdoor on both sides of this full block here. And also we're going to take a end rod and place it down going down from the uh, trapdoor like that as well. We're going to place down a smooth sandstone block coming off this one going forward and then a sandstone wall to both sides like so. Then on top of this we're going to place down our sandstone slab. We're going to go ahead and place down a top slab coming off this block. Then again two sandstone full blocks. These will both have birchwood trapdoors on the sides of these blocks. Just like that. And then we want to go and then place down a sandstone top slab. A sandstone slab on top of this block here. And then we want to go one and two smooth sandstone blocks again going forward in our birchwood trap doors on the sides there. At this point in time, we're going to go ahead and then grab ourselves a birchwood fence gate. We're going to place down a fence gate coming off this slab, opened up toward it. And then coming down from said fence gate, we're going to go ahead and place down a grindstone like so. Now, at this point in time, this is what your crane should look like. So if you need to take a moment here to pause to catch back up if need be, then this is what you basically want to have done. Uh, one thing we're going to go ahead and throw on also is a daylight detector on top of this block. And it will look something like this. Now, to kind of expand upon this, we're going to take our chains and we're going to go ahead and drop down from this uh, grindstone with a line of chains that goes down like this. And this is just, again, a winch here that could be wrapped around the vehicle. Um, you can have this as long as you want it. It doesn't really matter. Um, but we're just going to kind of go with that long right there kind of hanging down. Now after we have that done, we're also going to go ahead and go down from this grindstone at an angle. And we're going to place down chains that kind of descend at an angle going downward. And we're going to go ahead and go down two. And then we want to go and go, then go out to the sides and continue to go down at that angle. However, we're going to have two rows that come off to the side here. And basically these will end right here. And they kind of look like they connect up to the grindstone. So we'll take a look back here in a second. And you can see here that basically we have something that looks like that there, and it looks like they connect up to those grindstones, which will be kind of like the wheels or the reels uh, that the chains would wrap around. So that's what that's basically signifying there. And then going ahead and continuing on, we're going to go ahead and take our sandstone slab, top slab. We're going to go ahead and then place down a slab, sandstone full block, top slab, slab, full block, top slab, slab, and then a full block. We then want to place down a birchwood fence gate come off this block here like that and then we want to place down a birchwood sign on both sides here of the fence gate after that we're going to go ahead and then place down a slab on top of this fence gate like that we're going to go ahead and continue on by placing down a birchwood trap door on top of this block here and then taking skeleton skulls we're going to place down one and two skeleton skulls on the side here and one and two over here as well we then want to place down a sandstone upstairs stair here on the very front, very uh, tip here. And we're going to go ahead and also place down redstone repeaters, not just separated apart like that, on top of the stair. Now at this point, we're going to go ahead and take our chains, and this right here is going to form your hook. We're going to place down a row of chains that go down. This can be whatever length you want. Um, and then we're just going to place down a stone brick stair on the bottom of this. And we're going to have the stone brick stair angled so it goes back like that. So it's just kind of our hook there for the crane. Now at this point in time, we're going to go ahead and take our chains. We're going to go ahead and go back up to these skeleton skulls. We're going to place down uh, one chain here, and then we're going to go, go down to two chains, drop down again. We're going to have two chains, drop down again, and back two chains. Then we're going to have our, again our two chains back, two chains, two chains, and then this right here is going to be one chain that's going to connect up to that one to form two chains. So it's going to look something like that there for your cabling or your um, chains that run all the way up to the, the top of the vehicle there. And the same thing will just be done over here on this side. Like so. And it's just going to continue all the way down. Like this. And basically connect up to that point right there. So that right there is going to basically form your uh, chain system. And that right there is going to basically uh, form your uh, your crane. Um, so that right there is going to pretty much uh, do it for our deployed version or our 
yeah, I, I guess you can say, or deployed version here for the uh, uh, Oshkosh MMRS. Overall, really nice design. Again, I think this this design looks really sweet and is definitely uh, really cool compared to the just the base mobile version. So hopefully you do enjoy this design and are able to put it to good use. If you do not use this build, I do ask that you guys give me proper credit for this being thing from some of the build. Twink to my channel where this video with this does pretty social media sites. As always, guys, give me proper credit for your free user favorite project you guys are working on. Overall, enjoy the build. Have fun and all that fun stuff. With that, though, that's going to do it for this tutorial. Thank you guys all again so much for watching. As always, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. This is Gary 204, and I'll see you guys next time.